The following knot was tied in a sample of Rio's 10-pound steelhead salmon tippet material and tested on our Instron machine to illustrate its relative breaking strength. The Pitson knot is a great knot for general trout fishing applications, whether it's dry fly, nymph, it's quick, easy to tie, and gives you a distinct uh, audio uh, recognition uh, if you've tied the knot correctly. Uh, to tie the knot, pass your tag in through the eye of the hook. You'll want uh, a fairly long tag in, about 10 inches or so. Take that tag in, double it over itself, and form a loop. Take that loop, and you're going to wrap that around your main leader line three times. So one, two, three. Take that loop and take your tag end. You're going to take your tag end and pass it through the loop right there. You're going to draw that down, draw the slack out of the loop as such. Then I take and lubricate the main line with some saliva all the way down to the knot. And take and get a good hold of your leader line. Draw that all the way tight and you'll know that that knot's seated when you've got a very nice distinct V and on smaller tippet material you're going to have a little audible pop when that uh, knot seats into position. You can take, trim your tag relatively close, that's your Pitson knot. Here's the Pitson knot tied on a light salt water fly. Like I said, it's good for smaller tippet material applications. I would call it best suited for 0x and smaller, and uh, it makes a really nice profile on a dry fly uh, for dry fly fishing applications. That's the Pitson knot. On a single Instron test, this knot broke at 9.41 pounds, which equates to 89% of the tensile strength of the nylon it was tied in. Rio, make the connection.